road in Limestone County was in the direct path of a twister. Andy Aldridge was getting himself a snack when he saw the tornado bearing down. He managed to escape the storm, but when he returned home, there was nothing left but his favorite recliner. WFF 48's Elizabeth General has his incredible story. Elizabeth Aldridge has a special gift coming to him. He does, Mark. He lost his home in that storm, and his home was actually reduced to nothing more than just a concrete slab like the one that I'm standing on. But Aldridge is friends with the pastor at Berea Baptist Church. In fact, Aldridge helped them out when they went down to uh, Hurricane Katrina relief by sharpening and taking care of their chainsaws for them. And now Aldridge finds himself needing and receiving help. And he says it feels good to know that people are out there and willing to give. I'm 65 years old and never seen anything like it. I was eating me some peanut butter when it, and crackers when it come through, and I grabbed them and took off with them. I watched it come across the field here, and then I jumped out of my hole where I was at and run. And I was looking right in the eyeball of that thing, and it was mean looking, I'm telling you. Andy Aldridge escaped the tornado. When it was clear, he came home, only to find... Everything gone. Just basically everything gone. Stuff scattered all over everywhere. I bought me three pounds of baloney. I love baloney. Put it in the freezer and blow that three pound of brownie away and I didn't even get a bite of it. I'm going to tell you, that's pitiful. Blowed my teeth away, so he said. His shop in the back where he worked on lawnmowers was blown away too. About the only thing Aldridge was able to sell it was his famous recliner. It sits outside beside a camper someone loaned Aldridge. But he won't have to stay there too long. Pat Lawrence, pastor at Berea Baptist Church in Athens, is a friend of Aldrich. When a couple in Falkville heard about Aldrich's situation, they made a generous donation. They're members of Lebanon Baptist Church.